Hi, in this video we'll be looking at income elasticity of demand, which will also be abbreviated to YED. And this is YED because we usually denote income or output with the letter Y, so it's not IED, it is YED for income elasticity of demand. So what is this? Well, our definition here is the income elasticity of demand measures how much demand for a good or service changes with a change in real income. So as we might expect, very similar to price elasticity of demand, which we discussed in previous videos, but instead of looking at changes in price, we're looking at changes in real incomes of say people or individuals in our economy. So very much the same and we'll see in the equation and in the calculations and everything like that, very similar to price elasticity. It's just we're looking at changes in real incomes now instead of changes in prices. So here is our equation for income elasticity of demand. It is just our percentage change in quantity demanded divided by our percentage change in real income. So again, very similar is just how our quantity demanded changes and in percentage terms, how this changes when compared with or when divided by a percentage change in real income. And this just, this equation will show us and give us this sort of measure of how our demand changes with the change in real income. And we still have the same definitions of elasticity. So this will be elastic when our YED is greater than one, it'll be inelastic when YED is between zero and one, and unit elastic when YED is equal to one. So let's go straight into an example, I guess. And so in our example, we're gonna have real incomes increasing by 5%, which will cause the demand for cars to rise from 1 million to 1.1 million. And our steps for doing this calculation, again, the same as with price elasticity. So our first thing, we need to calculate the percentage changes of quantity demanded and of incomes. Luckily enough, we've already got the question in terms of a percentage with real income, so that's fine. We just need to look at the percentage change in quantity demanded. And then we just use the, not the PED formula, the YED formula, that is a typo. And yeah, we just substitute that into the YED formula and then we'll be done. So the first thing to do, percentage change in quantity demanded. Uh, we, we know our equation for calculating percentage changes. So our new value of demand for cars is 1.1 million. Our original was 1 million. So we can do this or we could just spot that our increase in demand for cars was 10% because as we said, it went from 1 million to 1.1 million. So this was just a 10% increase in quantity demanded. And we were already given that our percentage change in real income was 5%, so that's fine, easy enough. And then we just substitute that into the YED formula. So percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in real income. As we've said many a time, just remember that quantity demanded is on the top of this, as is the same with all elasticities we'll be looking at, then we'll be fine. So it's 10% divided by 5%, and this is equal to two. A couple of quick things to note is that now our YED is often going to be a positive number, whereas the PED was often a negative number. This is because an increase in real incomes for most goods, as we might expect, is gonna cause an increase in quantity demanded. As people have more income to spend, they're gonna to tend to buy more things, so it's gonna be a positive number. This was different to PED, obviously, because an increase in price will tend to cause a decrease in demand for a certain good. So, and again, this is uh, a YED of two here. So this is elastic, because this is greater than one. And we may even think of this as being a luxury good, where we have a very elastic uh, YED. And we've discussed this in previous videos when we talked about, say, normal goods. And we will do in the future again. So that's a quick introduction to YED, quite a simple topic once we understand elasticities and price elasticity of demand. And as I say, PED is the key one to learn. I think that's the one to focus on. And then once you've got that, YED should be a lot easier. So please do leave a like if this was useful. Check out the playlist for other videos on PED and in the future on XED and subscribe to add some econ to your subscription feed.